Collective intelligence can drive innovation and progress, tapping into the wisdom of crowds to produce remarkable outcomes. However, when it goes awry, it can result in collective stupidity. To hone our critical thinking skills and make informed decisions, it's essential to grasp the nature of stupidity and recognize when group dynamics are leading us astray. Nature often demonstrates emergent behavior where individual components come together to create something greater than the sum of its parts. Waves, for instance, are created by the interaction of individual water molecules, generating a force much greater than any single molecule. Likewise, creatures such as bees and ants exhibit collective behavior, collaborating to complete tasks impossible for a lone individual like building complex nests or foraging for food. Yet, collective stupidity can emerge from these very same groups. For instance, ants and caterpillars sometimes fall into deadly spirals due to a lack of critical thinking within their ranks. In these instances, they blindly follow the pheromone trails of their fellow insects, leading to a never-ending loop that ultimately results in their demise. The stock market exemplifies collective behavior as millions of investors buy and sell shares, influencing the overall direction of the market. Regulations are implemented to maintain stability and prevent market manipulation, but on occasion, collective stupidity can trigger financial crashes. For example, the dot-com bubble in the late 1990s and the 2008 financial crisis resulted from irrational exuberance and a lack of critical thinking among investors. Groups can be particularly susceptible to systematic biases, leading to information cascades, panic buying and herd behavior. The Esch conformity experiments conducted by Solomon Esch in the 1950s demonstrated the power of social pressure to influence individual judgment. In these experiments, participants were more likely to conform to an incorrect group consensus, even when the correct answer was obvious. To counteract group stupidity, it's vital to create an environment where everyone feels at ease, sharing and evaluating ideas without prejudice. In the political sphere, collective stupidity can have far-reaching consequences. The 2016 election serves as a prime example, where divisive rhetoric and misinformation played significant roles in shaping public opinion, highlighting the importance of critical thinking and fact-checking in today's increasingly polarized world. When it comes to objective questions, smaller groups often outperform individuals in decision-making. Research has shown that diverse groups, with a variety of perspectives, can generate more accurate and creative solutions. However, be cautious of overly confident individuals who may inadvertently sway the group's opinions as their certainty can be contagious, even if their ideas are misguided. Choose your sources of information carefully, remain vigilant of your biases, and watch for egocentric bias in others, which is the tendency to overvalue one's own perspective and experience. Keep in mind that humans are not inherently adept at making sound decisions, and mistakes can compound rather than offset one another. This can lead to situations like the Abilene Paradox, where a group will make a collective decision that no individual member actually desires, simply because they assume the others want it. As Stephen Hawking once said, the greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance, it is the illusion of knowledge. To sharpen our critical thinking skills and make wiser choices, we must comprehend the nature of stupidity and recognize when group dynamics are clouding our judgment. Stupidity is a sociological phenomenon rather than a psychological one. It can be influenced by cultural norms, social pressures, and the information available to a group. By pausing, reflecting, and engaging in critical thinking before taking action, we can mitigate collective stupidity and make better decisions, improving not only our own lives, but the world around us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to help us bring you more on navigating today's crazy world with critical thinking. Think critically. Question everything.